welcome to my channel here at Maji Got Tea. I am Maji and I am a high priestess and a spiritual advisor here on YouTube. Today's message for somebody here today, please um, remember to take all the parts that resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else, is that there's a lot that's going to be revealed to you, okay? There's a lot that's going to be revealed to you about your family and their secret hate towards you. Yes, you heard me right. You have a family member or certain family members that secretly hate you, despise you, and are plotting behind your back. I heard that they want you to feel empty. They don't want you to have love in your life. They want you to feel empty. Even if you have all the riches in the world, they want you to feel miserable. Comment below. No weapon from against me shall prosper. Period. Okay? And please hit the notification bell because this week I'm going to be spilling a lot of tea, guys. Like, I've gotten some crazy downloads that I'm either thinking, is this Patreon or is this YouTube? Because some of it is just too, too triggering and it's too brutal. So as I was saying this, my camera shut down. Somebody doesn't want me to reveal this message, but guess what? God hire me. Who gonna fire me? We're going to deliver this message, okay? Comment below, God hire me. Who gonna fire me? Literally, somebody doesn't want you to know this message. And who's that somebody? This family member that I'm picking up on, Matthew Gang. Hold on, what's going on here? It's like literally technical difficulties at this time. But anyways, yeah, as I was mentioning, these family members... They wish ill on you and they want you to feel empty. They want you to miss any opportunity and any chances that are coming your way. Okay, comment below. What is meant to be for me will always be. Period. Period. So let's see. I'm going to start this reading with my very own oracle deck called The Chosen Ones 144. This is pinned in the comments below if you're interested in purchasing it for yourself or for someone you know. Um, it's also available at my shop, <clears throat> majestee.com. All right, this deck is for my healers, my chosen ones. And clearly, I'm going to start this reading because I could tell you're chosen, which is why they despise you. Your family don't like you. They secretly hate you because they know you have an anointing over your life. Comment below, I am anointed. And so they know. So they know. This, this one came out, Earth Angel Healer. Okay? For someone here, you could be the psychic one in your family. But look, spell work. So I'm telling you. There's, there's this family member that's doing spell work on you. Royalty. Mm, I just heard a download there. And black sheep. Bam. Bam. So right now it's like you're literally being guided to spend time alone. Like it's better to be alone than in bad company, Maji Gang. Don't just, because you lonely, go hang out with these beasts. Okay? You got to make sure that you understand what energy is and how holy you are so that they won't have access to you. Comment below, they have no access to me. Don't give them access, okay? Because when you do, they're just going to drain you. So with this stuff, here's what I heard. <clears throat> yes, they're doing spell work. We're going to find out what exactly are they sending your way. But whatever they're sending your way, it's going to backfire. We know that. But with the royalty card, not only did I hear that, yes, you are royalty, but I was also saying that God is going to make you royal. Comment below. God is going to make me royal. And with that, with that, I'm saying, I'm being pointed back to the story of Joseph, which is like one of my favorite stories in the Bible. I've done countless readings on that story um, about a year ago, but it's coming back up again. Okay. It's coming back up again. And I just feel like the story of Joseph in the Bible, he has nine siblings. He's the favorite, right? Um, that Jacob, his father, likes and everything. To put it a short story, uh, Joseph, which that could be your name, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers who were jealous. And so they wanted to get rid of this guy because they're like, yo, my dad likes this dude too much. Like, I hate that. So this sibling, this family member could be jealous of all the attention that you get or the love, or maybe it's the total opposite. You didn't even get any love in your family because you're the black sheep, right? Yes, Joseph felt like the black sheep because he was special. Comment below, I am special. And when I said God is going to make you royal, I was literally feeling like, just like Joseph, who was thrown in a pit, abandoned there, they're sold into slavery, just sold and stuff like that. And then later on, God did what? He put him in a position of authority. He put him in a position where now Joseph was royalty, was wealthy. And to turn the whole 360 circle back around, his brothers had to come to him 
and beg him for food for his family. Later on, they had no idea that that was Joseph. So whatever's going to happen in your life, God's going to change your whole look. God is going to transform your life so much that you're not going to look the same as you did before. It's a complete rebirth. You're in such royal garments that clearly they're not even going to be able to identify your face. They're going to be like, are you sure that's so-and-so? Now, nah, nah, that person's wearing Prada. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that's an example. Um, you don't have to even wear any of these like big uh, clothes, names, and stuff like that. Okay, but... Um, if you're feeling this message, if this is your message already, you're feeling it, you got goosebumps, earrings, some sign from the universe as you're watching this reading, comment below. This is my reading because Maji got the tea, okay? I got the tea, honey. And I am really getting like, they're, you're about to become unrecognizable. They thought their spell was working and then it didn't. They thought when they betrayed you that that was the end of you and it wasn't. Okay, so... God is going to literally bless you with royal garments, put you in a royal position, an authoritative position. Comment below, God, I am ready. I am ready for this transformation. Let me see some butterfly emojis. Because you are the black sheep. That's why you feel different. Okay? You're, they made you feel like the oddball, the one out. So, they definitely wanted you to miss chances. Now they're going to see you obtain these chances, these opportunities that they wanted you to miss. But yeah, with that story of Joseph, they literally got on their knees and were like, bro, we're so sorry, brother. And he forgave them. So I feel like royalty also means that. It's like, I'm not going to be petty holding down grudges. Like God has already given me everything I needed. God has already ascended me through a throne, gave me a position of authority. He's, you know, um, giving me respect, power, status. So why am I going to be petty? Like remembering something you did in the past. And that's what's going to shock them about you. Because there's a lot of, like, rivalry. I'm getting, like, they secretly hate you. They're in constantly rivalry here. Drama. This could be your own mother for someone here. I'm sorry to break it to you. Like I said, it's not going to resonate with everybody. It's a very specific message. But this could be your own mother. I'm also hearing there's a family member currently right now doing uh, infertility spells. So that you don't have kids. So that you don't get pregnant. Comment below. My womb is blessed and protected. <clears throat> okay. And for my masculines. You know. My 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 things is, is good. <laughs> Certain words I'm just not going to say here. But anyways. Um, if you're watching this and you're pregnant right now. They're definitely doing spell work on your pregnancy. Comment below. Me and my womb are protected. Okay. Yes. And like I said, God is going to put you in a position of royalty. So who is this? That's the empress. That's the goddess. That's you. Look at the crown. Look at the people surrounding you. Look at the throne. I'm telling you. Male or female, this is all energy readings. I'm telling you. God is putting you in a position where now you're the royal one. They're going to come to you for help because that's karmic justice. Comment below. Their karma is coming. Libra energy. Like what? Somebody here could be 23 years old. I don't know. I just heard that, but this is the this is this is the karmic balance. Like justice is favoring you at this time. Literally, I'm telling you, royal garments, abundance. The empress is the card of royalty. It's the card of abundance, right? It's the card of nurturing, and you have the wheel of fortune. So whatever spell work they're sending your way is going back their way. Comment below. I send it back to sender. Send that shit right back to sender. Okay? Send it right back to sender. Hold on. I'm getting like, pick some numbers here. Somebody here could be born on the 18th of a month. Uh, February 18. February 8. January 8. June 1st. January 7. May 3rd, 6th, June 3rd, June 6th. Okay? Let me know if that's resonating for you, Magic Gang. But I'm hearing pass the baton. There's an ancestor that's passing the baton down to you. There's a coronation here for all you've been through. I'm getting this all has to do with like a karmic cycle of even a past life. 
that you've had with these people. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm hearing they're just a whole bunch of empty vessels that that's what they want you to feel empty. They want you to be broke, busted, and disgusted. Okay. They want you to feel abandoned, rejected, like you don't belong. Some of you guys could have been adopted by this family. You could have grown up in an orphanage. Let me know who I'm talking to. Somebody here needs to book a personal reading because there's some details here I can't really say, but I'm getting it specifically. You need to know the truth about what your family members are doing behind your back so that you don't, you don't, you don't look stupid. You know how to protect yourself. You know who it is and you know how to just get them out of your way. Nine of Cups. Wish, wish fulfillment. It's like they want you to be physically injured. They want you to be broke. But you need to walk away. They're definitely trying to impact your money. Let's see what's going on here. Which cards do I use here, Spirit? Um... I'm going to use this deck. Ugh. Two cards fell, but I'm picking those up. <laughs> I heard Thomas. Somebody's name here, Thomas. David. Jacqueline. Lauren. Peter. Allison. Kevin. Okay, let me know whose name I was channeling there. You might be seeing 333. Three, three. Okay, they know that you are the healer of the family, the medicine woman or man of the family. You could be a nurse or something like that. Um, or a doctor. But they're definitely distracting you. They know the journey that you have and that you're going towards. And I feel like this journey is of you becoming a healer, healing other people, guiding other people. And they don't want you to be seen as the hero. They want to distract you from becoming heroic, from doing what God has hired you to do. You have somebody that's mentoring you from the spirit realm. I'm hearing be unstoppable. Comment below. I am unstoppable. Like they're trying to literally stop you. So that's why they're bringing all this conflict to your life and all this drama. Hmm. Let's see. Cats independent here. You need to rise to the challenge and understand that you are more powerful than you know. They're saying it's okay for you to be independent. Celebration. You got an upcoming celebration here. Yeah, it's like if in the past, because of the spell work, there was a lot of like restriction, obstacles in the way or challenges, things are going to start flowing easy for you. So comment below. Um, everything is, is, is easy for me. Okay, everything is becoming easy for me. Like never before. Yeah, you're coming into alignment. For somebody here, you're meant to be on the center stage. You're either like about to be discovered or you were meant for fame. Comment below, I was meant for fame. I'm about to be discovered. I'm about to be seen. If this is you, because I'm really getting like you are not meant to be on the sidelines, but they made you feel like you belong in the sidelines. They made you feel, these family members, like you were insignificant. But you're going from insignificant to super significant, to super famous, and they're about to realize that this black sheep, okay, has an anointing over their life. They have a lot to do, just like Joseph. Joseph's thing wasn't just that battle with his siblings. He was doing a lot of stuff with the uh, Pharaoh. He was this messenger, right? He was this interpreter. He was doing a whole bunch of things. So there's a position of authority, of royalty that you're going to be put on here. 
A position of wealth too. Comment below, God is making me wealthy. There's a position of wealth as well. Somebody here is wearing red. I don't know who you are, but I heard color red. Or you could be wearing something with roses. I don't know why, but that could be specific to you. So what's going to be revealed to the to the Maji gang here, spirit? They're sexually attacking you as well. I'm getting for someone here, trigger warning, like you could have had a family member like uh, harm you, molest you in some way. I feel like they're still energetically bullying you when it comes to the astral sexual body. You, you need to book a personal, okay? Just go to my website. But for others of you, they literally have a torture doll here. They have a voodoo doll. They want you to get in trouble with the law. That's why we have justice here. Some of these people are like just waiting for you to be put in jail or get into some severe legal trouble. But comment below, I am protected. I am divine. Yes, you are. You are protected and you are divine. And no weapon ever formed against you shall prosper. They just don't know it yet. That's why they keep trying. But somebody here definitely has psychic abilities. You were born with a beautiful psychic gift. That's why I said earlier, you are the, you are the psychic in the family. They see that you're on a different journey than they are, and it's just not good for them. So you need to incorporate some smudging, some cleansing ritual, because some of these people have put your name in a grave. They buried something to do spell work on you here. You have spiritual security. You have protection from your spirit guides. And they're protecting your business. If some of you guys are entrepreneurs, business owners, they're making sure that they're protecting your business or any opportunities. Comment below. My money is protected. My blessings are protected. Yeah. They want you to lose a business or lose a job. These are karmic debts. These are people from karmic people from past lives. But spirit says you're about to have a major breakthrough. A major curse breakthrough. So that spell work that you were feeling is moving. And now your blessings are going to come in. It's like the doors are opening. Yeah, you're like a high priestess. You see through all the BS that they're doing here. You see through it all. All right, we have the desert. The desert. You definitely have walked a lonely path here. You might have felt deserted by your family. You might have felt alone. But all this gave you courage. You have like ancestors literally sending you signs and messages. So you might be seeing like owls or wolves. But these are messengers. These are companions. You're not alone. Comment below. I'm not alone. Like, you literally have spirit animals surrounding you at this time. You might be able to intuitively, like, feel them with your psychic gifts. For somebody here, I feel like you have a heavy duty. You have an anointing to be a mentor for others. Whoa, too many cards, too many cards. So many cards. I'm, I heard that the last full moon, they casted a spell on you. I did a video about this one here, a holy renewal. Literally, you're about to undergo a holy renewal. If you haven't watched that video, Manji Gang, make sure you get um, to watch it because it has some extra messages for you. But God is literally giving you a holy renewal where cycles are closing. You're starting the new creation. You're starting a new chapter. All right, let me know who's having some reoccurring dreams. Put some lavender or amethyst under your pillow because you're getting some reoccurring dream. And it's because you need to learn a truth. But this is private. This has to be told to you private, this sort of information. So if you're having certain recurring dreams, it's for a reason. Write them down. Right now, you need to literally connect with Rose Quartz. You need to have solitude by yourself and just call your energy back. Period.
Yeah, I told you. You're like a mentor, a leader. You're carrying the torch. They're passing the baton to you. Literally, you're the beacon of light for others. Just like Joseph, a beacon of light. You're a beacon of light. Comment below. I'm a light worker. You're here to shed some light. Take action with passion. You're quite passionate about the things you do. Go slow. Take your time if things are unclear. But very soon I am getting that you're going to be uncovering some new treasure. Something that has been hidden underneath you. It could be a new psychic ability. It could be a talent. But this is part of what you're going to be celebrating and what's going to give you that center stage to be seen. Whatever this is, the treasure is inside of you so nobody can take it. It's yours, it's inside of you. So what is this? They basically hate you because you're gifted. Yeah, so they're doing spell work. They don't like that you can manifest things really quick. Like you have you have an ability, bro. You have an ability like with this wand, you could be like, and I want this, bam, and it just comes true. You just gotta wave your wand. Cause look at these wands. Whatever you put into the universe, it comes fast. So you know how to you know that it's a responsibility to yield this power. Cause you could also manifest negative things. But I feel like, wow, you're a powerful magician coming below. I'm a powerful magician because you are. Like your manifestations, they happen very, very quickly. You're not somebody to play with. And I feel like that might be one of the gifts that you could be discovering. Yeah, look at that baton. Look at that wand I keep telling you about. You're very creative, but like your energy to bring things to manifest is unmatched. <laughs> It's unmatched. Yeah, this, this gift might just come out of the blue. Like, it might just activate out of the blue. It seems like you need it right now. But again, you've got justice here twice. There definitely could be a contract that you could be signing very soon. But I am getting that there's a collaboration of family members that want to make sure that they keep you feeling depressed, sad, at a loss. And so they're working together in this common goal. And their common goal is to destroy you. Their common goal is to destroy you. To block love out of your life. To make you hate yourself. Look at that. They're doing sneaky shit to your love life. If you're single right now, it's because of them. If your relationship is having issues, it's because of them. And if you are having trouble loving yourself, they're, they're doing something sneaky here to make you doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. It's part of their tricks. These are people from your past, your childhood peeps, you know? Yeah, they know, they know something marvelous is coming to you. They know that it's just a matter of time before you get recognized. That's crazy. I know you see through the bullshit. You see through the BS. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating something here. You're manifesting a new home. Comment below if that's you. But you're manifesting a new home. Uh, there's, I'm just getting celebration after celebration. Some type of like new home, relocation, or stability. You're going to be manifesting this. And like I said, you're pretty you're pretty decent with manifestation. You manis At least in this period of time, I could tell you're definitely manifesting shit quick, quick. Put something out into the universe right now and see how fast you can bring this in there. Bring this into, into light. Let me pick from this deck real quick. Yeah, contract. There's literally a contract that you're going to be signing soon. So that's good. Some of you guys are about to find out a family secret that this person is not your father. Whoever you think is your father right now might not be your father. Which, like I said, is a very specific message. So if you feel that that is you, definitely book a reading. Again, 
You're a magician. So work with the faces of the moon because you're a magician. Like I said, you're powerful. Don't underestimate the power of manifestation. God wants to remind you that you are a divine child. Comment below. I am a divine child of God. But right now, you know, you got to move in silence. This is why you got to move in silence. Because these people that are pretending to love you don't want what's best for you. Okay? They're just hexing you. Somebody here needs to get a hex investigation reading from me. Toxic addictions. They want you to be addicted to sex, to drugs, or maybe this is what they're dealing with. I'm hearing like they're sending you their demons to you. Cut the cords. Cut the cords. This right here, can you guys read that right there? This is what I'm saying is going to be the T for later on. Literally, I got a huge download about this. So this is no games. It's no games. Okay, beaten as a child. You could have been beaten as a child. That's your confirmation. This is your reading. And look, they're doing spells on you. They're doing spells on you. Why? Because you're somebody that's super talented. Comment below. I'm super talented, but my fate is protected. My destiny is protected. You're super talented and they just smile at you, but hate you. They're smiling at you, but they hate you secretly. Remember that they want you to miss every opportunity that ever comes your way. Again, you're being reminded to protect your energy, to realize that you are a divine being. All right? You could be an Aries. Take a salt bath. Add some roses. I'm hearing, yeah, because you got to remove the jealousy and evil eye from your aura. Take a salt bath. Add some roses. Do some grounding. Spend some time in the park. Hug a tree. Walk barefoot. But do something. Okay? Sun gaze more often too. Look at the sun, lay down, right? Do this and it's going to help you. But literally, this is what they're doing. For somebody, definitely there's a contract coming. I'm just giving you a heads up. It's a very good contract. Um, but I, I'm also hearing like somebody try to break up your marriage. It can still heal. I'm hearing your marriage can still heal. It can still be repaired. You can still mend it. Um, yeah. Somebody could be going through a divorce. I'm telling you, there was a reason you're going through this divorce. This was all due to spell work, bro. You need a reading. You need a reading. There could have been a court order or some legal document that you're going to be signing. I'm hearing child services. This is getting, this is getting deep. Mm -hmm. but everything's going to go in your favor comment below all right everything's going to work out in your favor i'm definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want a part two of this reading sending you love and light don't forget to hit the notification bell bye